Today, we are going to explore the four new databases available at the Janet and Hutton Public Library website. To access these databases, first you must open your browser. I am using Google Chrome. And I'm going to type in janaidenlibrary.org, janaidenlibrary.org. At the home page, simply scroll down until you see the World Trade Press icon, and then you will find the four databases below. A to Z World Food, A to Z Food America, Global Road Warrior, and A to Z the USA. First, we will begin with A to Z World Food. You will be prom prompted to enter your library card number. That is the full 16 digit number on the back of your Janet and Hutton Public Library card. If you don't have access to that card at home, please call us at 740-254-9224 and we will give you the card number or come by the library and we will replace the card if it is lost. I'm going to pause for a moment so that I can enter my library card number. After you enter your library card number and click enter, you will be taken to the World Food home page. There is a featured country, which is South Korea. You have various options to click on at the top, including a search. You can select your language. You can scroll down to look at recipes and food culture by country. You can type in the country. You can scroll through the long list and select, or you can go to the map to select a country. You're also able to browse food categories, the recipes, the ingredients, or by reference. We are going to go to the map and choose Australia. Inside the Australia page, you will find many options. You will see a location of Australia on the globe and a scrumptious picture of a lunch of exotic fish on Sydney Harbor. <laughs> you will have information regarding its national cuisine. You can choose other options as well. Perhaps you are planning a trip to Australia and you'd like to know dining etiquette. You're greeted with both table etiquettes and social dimension of dining references. You can also learn what meals are eaten. Maybe it's not just breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm clicking on, did you know? that we can find some interesting facts about food culture in Australia. If you're interested in beverages, you have many options to choose from, including national beers and liquors. But, my favorite part of this website is the recipes. So first we will select an appetizer. You have five options in Australia to choose from. We are going to choose salt and pepper squid. Each recipe gives you small information about the recipe, the prep time, the cook time, the total time, number of servings this recipe makes, 
any dietary restrictions that you might need, including this one is gluten-free. There's a check mark. It means it meets that restriction. It's gluten-free, it's dairy-free, and it's halal compatible. Scrolling down, you will see ingredients as well as directions. And a wonderful thing about this website is each recipe is shareable and or printable. So click on share and you can email this recipe to a friend or to yourself if you choose. You would enter in an email address, maybe a small message and click email recipe. Likewise, if you wish to print, click on print. You get a little preview of what it'll look like when you print it. You can choose options over here and then you click print. We are going to cancel the print. You can search through all different types of food. Main courses typically have the most. If you'd like to know what interesting things are popular in Australia, or perhaps you don't know what some of them are. I do not know what brawn is. Again, I have a picture of brawn, a description, total servings, prep and cook time, whether it meets dietary restrictions, my ingredients and my directions for making it, and my share option and print option. When you are finished with the country you are looking at and you wish to explore another country, simply click on the A to Z World Food banner at the top of your browser and it takes you back to the map where you could choose another country. At this time, we are going to go back to the home page and explore A to Z Food America. Because I'm already logged in, I don't need to put in my library card number. You have many options to search through. You will see today's feature is Wisconsin. You have a site menu. You wish to browse by recipe, by state, by region, ethnic group, historical ingredients, how food is made. There are videos on how food is made, reference, and to go home, of course. You can search by typing in key ingredients, states, um, dietary restrictions. You can select your language. You can browse by region. You can browse by state. We will browse by state. Again, just like with the world A to Z, you can type a state in here, or you can scroll through this list, or you can hover. And we're going to pick Montana. You will find where Montana is located on the map, a cuisine overview, which is full of information, pictures of various foods in Montana. And then on the left side of the screen, a full menu of what is available for you to explore. State foods are listed. Beverages are listed. There will be a lot of beers. Montana, like many other places, are known for their IPAs and their craft beers. And then again, all of these wonderful recipes. Let's choose a salad. So we have an option of a five bean salad, a steak salad, or a three bean salad. I will select steak salad. Can you have a description of the recipe, serving size, your time for cooking and prepping, whether it meets any dietary restrictions, and this one does not. 
your ingredients, your directions. And again, it is both shareable and printable. Perhaps you're wondering what side dishes are associated with Montana. These are some popular side dishes, braised sunflowers. You'll have some pictures, a description, your recipe serving sizes, your prep and cook times, and then again, your ingredients and your directions. If you are finished looking at Montana or whatever state you have chose, simply go to the top of your browser, click on A to Z Food America, and you can choose another state. Or you can search by region. You can type in the region, you can select it from the list, or you can click on the map. And this way you will find all of the recipes available in a particular region, as well as some historical cuisine information. Let's look at desserts in the Northeast. Loads and loads of desserts. Look at that famous Boston cream pie. Chocolate eclairs. So much to choose from. If you're finished with that particular region, click on A to Z Food America. And you can choose another state, another region, or an ethnic group to search. At this time, we're going to go back to the Janine Hutton Public Library homepage and choose Global Road Warrior. Global Road Warrior is a website that you can explore countries. And you can do that by searching at the search bar. You can type the name of a country. It's not coming off. <laughs> oh my. Or, and I'm sure if you click enter, it would go. You can scroll through or you can pick from the map or you can browse the featured country, which today is South Korea. So we are going to take a visit to South Korea today. You will notice on your screen that you are given the current time and date as well as the weather conditions for the capital city. You will also see to the right of your screen, various pictures and descriptions, as well as a country overview. There are many things that you can choose from. Perhaps you're interested in culture or trivia or climate. You can select anything you choose and you will find a plethora of information. Perhaps you are wondering what education is like in South Korea and you will find statistics by clicking on any of these. You will find out what higher education looks like in South Korea, should you choose to click on that. You're welcome to explore their history with a historical timeline. Famous people throughout their history. And again, these have sub sections you can click on or you can just scroll through all. Perhaps you'd like to look at vintage postcards.
Maybe you are planning to go to South Korea and you would like to know some points of interest, places to see. Many different landmarks, attractions for children if you're traveling with children, park zoos, gardens, and travel essentials should you be going. And here are your requirements for traveling. If you're using this website for a um, scholarly journal or assignment that you might have, you can cite this document, click on cite this document, and it gives you its information to put in your bibliography. When you are finished visiting South Korea, click on the Global Road Warrior icon and you can choose another country. At this time, we are going to return to our website, the Janine Hutton Public Library website, and click on A to Z, the USA, from sea to shining sea. Want to learn more about this lovely land you live in? Welcome to From Sea to Shining Sea. You can select a state by scrolling, by typing, or by hovering. What do you think? Perhaps we should choose our beautiful Ohio. The Buckeye State. Current time in the capital city, as well as weather conditions. Some lovely pictures. A state overview, our land, our economy, our people, perhaps you're wondering about animals and plants that are indigenous to this area, maybe you'd like to know about biographies, a famous Ohioans. Perhaps you are looking for education, the flag. There's trivia. There's flags in black and white, flags in color. You can see them, you can download them, you can print them. For our state seal, there it is. Information about it, its history, its adoption. There are maps. There are maps in the world view as well. The maps are so very cool. You can look at anti antique maps. Each map is viewable, printable, and downloadable. Perhaps you are teaching about Ohio and you need some physical maps or congressional district maps or an outline. To print. Perhaps you need one of the entire nation. We can print our Ohio map. Maybe you'd like to know about points of interest in Ohio. Parks, gardens, and zoos. You will find a listing. If you're looking for somewhere, maybe you're having a staycation or you just want to explore somewhere near your own backyard this summer. We have historical sites. And museums. These websites are full, these databases are full of very interesting things and maybe even a way to travel the world from your own desk at home. When you're finished looking at the state you've chosen, you merely click on A to Z the USA 
and you can start looking at another state. You can also look on general United States information. Crossword puzzles are there. Each state has a crossword puzzle. They're printable as well. I will show you one. Here's one about the United States itself. You can print it. And when you do, it also has the key. Pretty nifty, isn't it? Perhaps you'd like to know about geography. There are tutorials in here that you can explore. Various United States geography. All of these websites are free for your use through the genadenlibrary.org website. You do need your library card to access them from home. If you're accessing them at the library, you do not need your card. Our computers are equipped to allow you to access the websites immediately upon clicking on our home page. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you will spend some time learning about food and culture and communities uh, at your home and around the world.